Larry Meliente is headed to trial, accused of murdering his missing wife, Maya. It's our top story on The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Even though there is no body, the judge declared there is enough evidence to put this case in front of a jury. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal has been in the courtroom since day one. She joins us live now with today's developments. Kelly. That's right, and you know, before that ruling was made, one of the bailiffs got up and stood in between the gallery where Maya's family was seated and the front of the courtroom where Larry was seated just as a precaution. Now, the judge did give a lengthy statement, but he basically told the defense, if I were to believe your theory, I would have to believe that Maya chose to leave behind children she loved, a family she loved, a six-figure income, uh, friends that she truly cared about, a million-dollar home, and then he said this. Based on the evidence adduced during this preliminary hearing, it appears to the court that there is probable cause to believe that the offenses charged in counts one and two have been committed and that the defendant is guilty thereof. It is therefore ordered that the defendant be bound over for further proceedings in the Superior and so it was hard to read Larry's expression when the judge made that ruling that yes, we're going to st you're going to stand trial for your wife's murder. Uh, he blinked, but with the mask on, you couldn't really see much. Larry then agreed to an immediate arraignment, and so that's what happened. He was arraigned and pleaded not guilty to one count of first degree murder and one count of possession of an assault weapon. So this all unfolding after 10 days of testimony from about two dozen witnesses. The prosecution laid out its case. We will have to wait until the trial to see more of the defense's strategy. Now, through this entire hearing, Maya's sister, Mary Chris, and her husband, Richard, have been there in the courtroom every day, seated in the front row listening. They were there yesterday when that video Maya secretly recorded was played of a fight between her and Larry. I asked about what it's been like listening to and finding out all of these details. Take a listen. That my sister had suffered so much. I didn't know that. I wish I could have known. I could probably help her better. But she's very independent. She's very smart. But I wish I could have done something. And as we learned through this hearing, Mary Chris uh, helped raise Maya, so she kind of thought of her like a daughter as well as a sister. Now, the question was asked, what would you say to Larry if you could? And Richard responded, let the truth come out for the sake of the children. Let them know what happened to their mom. The trial is set for September. Heather and Carlo. Kelly, did you have a chance to talk to Larry's defense attorney? What was her reaction to the outcome of this? I actually spoke to her over the phone a little while ago, and she told me she wasn't surprised by the outcome. Larry wasn't surprised because the threshold is so low. Uh, but two things did stand out to me from our conversation. One, uh, she wouldn't definitively say that she will absolutely be his attorney when it comes to the trial. And two, I asked, will Larry take the stand in his own defense at the trial? And she said, based on everything she's seen so far, that she believes, yes, he will. She says it was just him and, and the children who were in the home at the time. Maya disappeared, so she said she feels that he has to give his account of what happened. Part one of this legal process done. Now it's time to wait and see what happens at trial. Kelly Hessenhall reporting for us live. Thanks, Kelly.